Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3dgameman.com and today I'm looking at the Antec Edge 750 watt power supply. The box is pretty, your standard Antec color theme, lots of pictures as well as features and specifications about it and note, that they do have the box plastic wrapped. Included is a product overview. Remember, you can download a detailed manual from the website as well as information about their five-year warranty. Here is a power cord, four regular screws, a bag, within another bag that has monster leads in it, four bumpers, two are black and two are red, and the power supply is also in a bag. Now let's have a closer look at what I'm calling bumpers. These are just rubber pieces that go on either side of the power supply, but the one that has holes in it goes on this side, the end that gets installed in the case, and the other piece, which does not have any holes in it, goes on the other side. You can see that I have installed the black ones. Looks quite nice. Let me take these off and install the other ones. They come off and go on really easily. So you kind of have to line them up, stretch it a little bit on either corner, like so. And the other one. And voila, looks quite nice. Okay, so let's get on with the video review. Currently, there are three different models in the Edge series, a 550 watt model for people who really don't need a lot of power, and a 650 watt model, which is what I would recommend for most, and this one, a more powerful option, the 750 watt model. Now, speaking of wattage, how is it determined? Well, to understand this, you need to know what rails are. And rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert the current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail now in this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 100 watts and the 12 volt is 744 watts but note that the continuous wattage of this power supply is 750 watts, and that would apply to the 650 watt model as well as the 550 watt model. So, what they're advertising is correct. Not advertising a power supply, you know, that it says it's 750 watts and it's actually 700 watts. So, that's a good thing. Also, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. It is also very important to know the peak amps on each rail. The plus 3.3 volt and the plus 5 volt rails are 20 amps each. Now this power supply has two plus 12 volt rails and they're 40 amps each. Now I've said this before and I will say it again, it's about getting a quality brand name power supply. Whatever you do, do not cheap out on a power supply. So don't go out and spend all kinds of money on the rest of the system and then forget about the power supply. This thing here, very, very crucial for your system working properly. And if you buy something cheap, well, you could fry everything. You don't want that to happen, right? Anyway, there are a number of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first one is wattage. How much wattage are you actually going to need? If you are building a medium to high-end gaming ring, a 500 to 700 watt power supply for a hardcore system, 800 watts should be fine. If, however, you are building a top of the line, multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply, that's 1,000 watts watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficiency and that will not be a problem for this power supply because its efficiency goes all the way up to 92%. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC, or active power factor correction, assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, it corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. And thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, 80 plus, in NVIDIA SLI and AMD Crossfire. Now many of today's high-end power supplies will meet one or more of these certifications and this power supply does meet the 80 
plus gold standard. Six, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors because this ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply without them. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply like this one that has a modular design. Also, it's very important to get a power supply with an excellent warranty, and this one does come with a fantastic five-year warranty. Now this power supply looks great. Remember, you can swap these bumpers out. If you don't like red, no problem. You can take them off completely or put the black ones on. Look at the fan grill, sweet. Also, they include a fancy fluid dynamic 135 millimeter LED fan and you can turn the LEDs on and off. There's a switch on the back. I'll show you that in just a minute. Well, actually, I'll show it to you now. There it is, look at that. Speaking of switches, here's the power switch. And here is where the power cord gets connected. Now this power supply is completely modular. You can see the modular connectors on the back. They are actually labeled. That will take the guesswork out of it. The main 24 pin lead is sleeved. Quite a good job on that. But the rest, I love these, flat flexible leads because, well, you can tuck them and route them in places that you can't route cables like these. Now have a closer look at all of these modular connectors and the fancy LED switch. I love modular leads because it really reduces all that cable mess inside of the case and it does increase airflow. Okay, so let's do an LED test. Right now the LEDs, of course, they're off. Let me turn them on. Ooh, look at that. And by the way, despite how the camera shows this, they are white. On, off, on, off. Now, have a listen. There are so many power supplies on the market. How do you choose? Well, this one has red bumpers. It's a done deal. All joking aside though, it does look handsome. It has a wonderful 135 millimeter LED fan. You can turn the LEDs on or off. Comes in three different wattage options, 550 watt, 650 watt, and this one, a 750 watt model for people who are, well, you know, pretty much hardcore. Also completely modular. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until the next time, take care.